Good morning and welcome to the ASX at Breakfast. I'm Rachel, live from Calkine Studios in Sydney. The Australian share market is expected to open higher today. The SPY futures are pointing to a 0.8% gain. Now on Friday, the Australian share market closed 0.41% higher at 6,954. In business news from this morning, GenX Power's wholly owned subsidiary has today entered into a 25-year solar power purchase agreement for the Bull Eye Creek Solar and Battery Project with a wholly owned subsidiary of Fortescue Metals. It's been developed by the GenX in partnership with Electric Power Development Company with Solar Choice as a co-developer. Offtake for up to 337.5 megawatts of solar energy and large-scale generation certificates to provide green hydrogen and ammonia. Commitment enables GenX and J Power to confirm solar as the first stage of the BCP. Frontera Cooperative Group today raised the 2023 to 2024 season forecast farm gate milk price range to $6.50 and $8 per kgms, with a new midpoint of $7.25 per kgms, up 50 cents. Frontera CEO Miles Hurrell says the improved outlook reflects both supply and demand dynamics. He says here in New Zealand they're forecasting collections to be slightly below last season, while aggregate milk growth in key export countries is expected to be below average for financial year 2024. The El Nino weather pattern may have further impacts on supply, and this could be driving recent buyer sentiment. Metcash today announced that Chris Baddock, CEO of the Liquor Pillar, has retired from the role due to health reasons. Since joining Metcash in 2019, Chris has overseen enormous growth in the Liquor Pillar, with sales increasing almost 40% over the past three years. The growth has been across all key areas of the business, including sales to retail and on-premise customers, and in owned and exclusive brands. John Barakat, the Liquor Pillar's General Manager of Merchandise and Operations, will lead the liquor team while the company un overtakes an extensive search for a successor. Let's take a break now. I'll be back very soon with more news set to affect your trading day. Build better relationships, get connected, heard and noticed. We always believe in getting you the best. Calkine Media's growing platform, Calkine TV, helps you connect to an inquisitive audience from across the globe. Interact in a trusted environment. Showcase your brand on Calkine TV in a seamless and effective manner. We connect and curate content as per your business needs. So why wait? Write to us at guestteam at calkine.com.au. Welcome back to the ASX at Breakfast. I'm Rachel Jones. The Dow Jones Industrial Average gained 0.87%. The S&P 500 added 1.18%. The tech-heavy Nasdaq Composite rose 1.6%. European markets closed higher. London's FTSE added 0.58%. Frankfurt gained 1.06%. And Paris closed 0.88% higher. With Asian markets, Tokyo's Nikkei lost 0.26%, Hong Kong's Hang Seng gained 1.58%, while China's Shanghai Composite was closed. That's the latest from the ASX at Breakfast. I'm Rachel, signing off for now.